Hello everyone, my name's Nico Me, and there's some great news to share today. Splatoon 2 with Datamines, the Reddit user Oatmeal Dome. I'm kind of craving some oatmeal. Anyways, um, there is a huge datamine of Splatoon 2. What you see in this box is not all you get, folks. That's the best feature about Splatoon 2. There is so much free DLC that the best part is comes out every single week. Don't you see folks? Here is the following things that they found in the data mine. So there is an incomplete file for revamped versions of Kelp Dome and Black Belly Skate Park. Okay, that's nice. There are additional maps named Line and Tunnel. So that's really cool. Line and tunnel. I'm imagining this nice little tunnel thing that you can go through. There hasn't really been a big tunnel like thing. Maybe it's like in the middle of the map is like a big tunnel, or maybe there's a couple of tunnels. I don't know. It just sounds really cool. I feel like they'd be really fun. Rainmaker. Placeholders, images for maps revealed in the direct name Kawa and Pillar are present. Nintendo is including testing versions of Shifty Station in the update, however, for Splatfest. The game downloads the real stage model and layout files separately. This explains why the existing files include debug and test objects. Um, yeah, whatever that means. Shifty Station. The developers are currently testing new Salmon Run stages with internal names of Shake House and Three Points. Uh, new files for these maps have been introduced in 1.1.1 update as well. There are last of the four planned stages for Salmon Run. Okay, so this is really, really cool. Um, I think that Shake House, I'm imagining like this fish house thing, you know, like if you go like by a dock somewhere and there's like a, a boat house, dock house thing where it's like you can get like your fish reels and your bait and all that. That's what I'm thinking it's going to be like. So hopefully we see like this really cool shady looking like fish building thing that you can get all your fish accessories at and you can hide in there while like a bunch of the salmons come to take you over, I don't know. How about upcoming weapons? Grisco brand weapons are in the works. A blaster, charger, and umbrella were found in the files, so when you do your salmon run you can get new weapons, I guess. A new weapon called the Squeezer is in development. Ooh, there's a picture of it apparently. Ew. No. The squeezer looks scary. It looks like you're gonna imagine like quick burst of English. I don't know. Here's the explanation text of the squeezer. The squeezer main is a new type of semi-auto shooter where one trigger pulls equal one ink shot. Holding down ZR won't provide a steady stream of ink, but spamming the trigger will give you rapid fire with a damage output you'll dig. Set up a splash wall to protect your team. Okay, so we get the splash wall, and it gets um, the Stingray special. So that's cool. And then there's a foil squeezer. Okay, so this, the squeezer sounds like quick little burst of ink. Okay, that sounds cool. Okay, so there's a, there's a big list that you can, I'll put in the link below, of all of the new Splatoon weapons coming soon. All the ones are already out if you want to check that. A quick word about Octolings. What was known as the player's gender from the original Splatoon has now been replaced by a parameter called player type. Another parameter called player type shares the same values as another parameter, model type. The possible values for these parameters are Squid Girl, Squid Boy, and Oct. Near those values, we have found an additional value named Octoboy. This is based solely on information found in the Splatoon 2 executable. We do not have models, text, etc. for Octolink, Octolings at the moment. Additionally, since the values of player type and model type are shared, we can... Shared. We can... Additionally, since the values of player type and model type are shared, we cannot confirm that Octolings will be playable either without testing in-game. Okay, so what this is saying is they can confirm it, but they found player type and model types and stuff of the Octoling and Octoling Boy. It's very, very cool. Um, I, I, I see them. November, maybe December, like a little bit before Christmas, maybe a few weeks before Christmas, releasing a big update where you can now play as an Octoling. I think this would drive people who 
um, like the original Splatoon, but don't think it's worth Splatoon 2 original. Like, for people who own Splatoon the original, but don't want to buy Splatoon 2 because they don't think it's there's enough new things, I think that update adding Octolings would definitely drive them to buy it in Christmas time, as well as, um, it would just excite a lot of people to buy it, I think, during Christmas time with Christmas money and putting it on their list and stuff. I think it would excite a lot of people. Um, that would drive a lot of sales. A nice, cool Christmas update. Adding Octolings would be really cool. Can't wait for all of the content to be released. However, the game seems to be somewhat rushed to completion for version 1.1.0. Source for a new map. Okay, so this is very, 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 very cool. There's the new Squeezer. There's the new, lots of new weapons coming. Um, lots of new maps. Um, and hopefully Octoling. So, comment down below what you think about the all. all comment down below what you think of all these new updates. I can't wait for all of this. The new Salmon Run stages sound cool. Um, just everything sounds like so much fun. Um, but yeah, what's your favorite idea? Favorite new thing from this data mine? Comment down below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye Splatoon 2. Bye a Switch. Goodbye.